What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're back on the 60 Impala for a real quick video. I'm just spraying the satin black, hot rod black or something on the bottom side of the, the hood and the inside of the fenders and stuff like that. I had a couple of you cool cats want to see it done, so we're going to go in here and I'm going to get shooting. Guys, we're gonna go real quick over this thing and uh, tack it off and get all the overspray and stuff off of it. Just tack it real lightly. It's pretty good because I just mainly done. I got back and looked at it, done one good heavy coat and touched it up a few spots and it's pretty good. So I'm gonna go tack all the rest of this stuff off and I'll come back to it when you start spraying the hot rod black. All right, guys, while I'm getting ready, I'm gonna tell you how we're gonna go about this. This uh, hot rod black's like a satin black color and it really drill it on there I've noticed like try to make it flow out real good and slick it'll shine just a little bit more so we want more of us between satin and matte almost so I'm gonna first coat I'm gonna put a good tack maybe a medium coat on and probably the second coat it I'm not gonna dry spray it you don't want to do that because you see lines but I just barely want to wet it out I'm gonna go over on the hood here and show you how I do it and then we'll just set up a high glass for the rest of it because once you figure that part out but like I said, you can't adjust, if you drill this stuff on real good and wet like you want it to lay out, it's gonna shine a little more, so we'll try to keep it toned down. And you can come back and you can uh, drop coat it if you want to, a real light dusting if it's too shiny for it, but I think two medium coats is gonna be good, so you can turn around and get some shooting this thing. I'm gonna shoot at the same uh, 29, 30 PSI on this gun, so it's about the same consistency as like that sealer, or just maybe a little thicker, so we're we'll gonna see how it goes. It's a little wider than I want. There we go. Fuck it down a little bit.
first coach, we see it starting to die back a little. That's about the the wetness that we're going to do of it. So I'm going to set y'all back here and hyperlapse it and uh, finish this up. We'll come back once you're done. All right, guys, it's been about 15 minutes. You can see how it died down a little bit. It's getting about the right consistency that we want. It's got like a real clean satin look. We're gonna put one more on it. And just, uh, basically what you're trying to make it look, if you've ever uh, done any car repair or anything about new panels like that E-coat they put, it's kind of the sheen we want to go with. So next coat won't be that heavy either, kind of a medium. And uh, backside fenders is looking good. I'm gonna go ahead, they're pretty, yeah, it's not even, it's good and dry, so it's ready to go. We'll put one more light to medium coat on her. Just try not to dry spray, it's a big thing. So, here we go. guys there she is that's about i'd well, say a coat and a half maybe if you want to call it that i did a good medium coat to start with and it's still going to die back a little bit it usually takes a few hours after it totally kicks over but it should die back like i said this thing's getting insulated and stuff on the bottom of it yeah i think it turned out pretty good it's got that good eco sheen to it and stuff and i like that hot rod black pretty good i've never tried it on the outside of a car totally to do a full full problem how it holds up but like we're underneath fenders and hoods and stuff it does a real good job but make sure you guys like and subscribe so you can check out all the content we try to do stuff welding fab related to help you guys build all your hot rods and remember guys be kind to one another jesus loves you so do we god bless we go